So I like external drives for sure. External drives are good. Straighten that up a little bit. Um, and uh, it's great seeing some of these prices come down. Now, currently I use uh, solid state drives, drives from different brands, uh, but I actually right now use uh, a Z Slim, Z Slim, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, this guy here, I use that for some of my uh, outside contract video editing work seems to work good. It's one of the slower drives, but for the type of work that I'm doing, it's plenty. I have the ZX20, ZX20, ZX20. Uh, for I actually use that one right now as a backup drive for my Mac Studio upstairs, which is actually it runs runs great, does the backups really nice and fast. It's and speed wise, this one, this one in theory should be the fastest, but one of the things I find on Max, and I don't know why, it's really hard to get the theoretical drive speed that these drives can get. You know, when I'm running again, like on a Mac Studio, this is a MacBook Pro that I have right here, and I don't get those speeds. They all kind of peak in and around, you know, that 800. 800 ish sometimes you get up to 900 um which is plenty fast for me to do 4k and, and again i use the zx20 primarily as just a backup drive uh because it's got a lot of space on it um but today today we're looking at this one here this guy right here this is the zx10 uh speeds up to 1050 uh and it's and it's this this guy right here so you guys can see it here comes in a 512 gig option, one terabyte, two terabytes. This is the one terabyte version. Uh, and I think this will be really good. I'll, I'll probably use one of these and I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I may actually use this as a another storage option, option either for my Steam Deck, I may take a look at that, or I, I may use it just as another external drive for my MacBook Pro. Um, because when I'm traveling, having a really nice and small, like physically small external drive, a terabyte is always going to be useful. So today what we're going to do is just take a look at what it looks like coming out of the box. You can see the physical size. We're going to test it on the M1 MacBook Pro. So again, realize that if you have a machine that has maybe faster ports, or I know a lot of Windows computers can handle different speeds a little differently, um, you may be able to get even faster. But I would think uh, this will give you a good ballpark. And if anything, you may be able to get possibly even faster. So we're going to take a look uh, right now. Okay, so this is it. Actually, we'll look at the site here. This is it here. A ZX10 USB 3.2 Gen 2 external SSD, right? Compact size comes with a leather bag, which is kind of handy, right? Nice and fast. They show it here hooked into, it looks like a MacBook Pro. Uh, and then over here on another machine of some sort, you can plug it in. It looks like they have it plugged in probably into an Android phone, a little uh, leather case that it comes with. There's your sizes, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Three year warranty. Yeah, it's good, right? Anyways, this is it here. I'm just gonna, uh, never mind. I'm gonna open it. And I actually opened it the other day because I was like, oh, I wanna just see if it comes with all the cables one needs. And it does, which is also really good. Now, the one thing I couldn't find, I couldn't find this actually listed on uh, Amazon anywhere. Some of their other <sighs> drives, definitely there. So I'll put links down below to, uh, their Amazon store so that you can look at their their all their drives that they have. Anyways, this is what it comes with here. The the big thing for me, which I really like, is it does come with two different USB adapters. So a USB-C to USB-C, which is perfect for those of us on a Mac or on like an Android phone, uh, possibly even like an iPad, USB-C, right? Uh, or if you have USB-A, this is gonna be your USB-A to USB-C, so you're good, and a decent decent sized cables for each, which is excellent. Uh, there's gonna be your little uh, manual. Uh, depending on your needs, you can uh, format this, your drive, if you so need to. Um, use the cable of your choice, this doesn't matter. This is your little leather bag. And uh, both this one came with a leather bag, and so did the the, Z Slim, Z Slim, it came with a little leather pouch too. Not a leather couch, because that would be a sweet. <laughs> they gave you a leather couch with it. 
Um, and last but not least, tell me this, it's a slick looking little drive, right? That's it right there. Yeah, that's, it's like a, it's like a, almost like a big USB stick, but basically you can tell it's an NVMe drive just inside a housing, yes? So it's got this, it is metal. So it should help with some of the heat dissipation, right? Just for, for natural cooling, but there you go. ZX 10, one terabyte. And this, when you're out traveling, for whatever reason, you can just kind of scooch it in there, put it in your drive. This, I don't know how much protection that's going to be. I would probably put USB port in just so you get a little bit more dust protection. And uh, definitely going to protect it from things like just scratches and if it's being banged around a little bit in your in your your bag. You know, I'd put it like that because then dust isn't going to get in that side and, and this, this side is protected. So, hey, a nice little add-on. I'll take it. And then last but not least, we are going to take our USB-C to USB-C. I do like that these come with little like Velcro things to just help us keep everything together. And what we're going to do here is we'll minimize this. Now this is going to be, as far as I know, this is just going to be it's pretty standard. Uh, I would think it's XFAT as a format would be my guess. So we'll put this in here. Yes, yes sir, yes sir, ma'am sir. Boom, and this should come up on the screen. There it is right there, ZX10. And we will check a Git info and XFAT, right? One terabyte, very good. So if we were to run Blackmagic speed test here, okay, we'll just do, we'll do two. We'll select the target, which will be the ZX10 here, open. And we will do a one gig uh, speed test just to test it. Yeah, so writes coming in 763 and reads 782. So I'm down with that. That's good speeds. I'm okay with that. That's nice. Pretty consistent. You know, you'll have no problems editing like 4K video off of this. As you can see, it, it actually says if you're in Blackmagic RAW, you should be able to do like 12K24. Uh, in ProRes, you should be able to do up like past 4K60, and in H.265, you can get up to 8K. So plenty fast for that kind of stuff. Plenty fast. Now, if we were to come in and do a five gig test, just to make sure, it gives it some time to push some bigger files. Yeah, you're still even big file, little file. You're just hitting, you know, 760 pretty standard and you get a little bit faster. You get a, you're definitely getting closer to the 800 mark for read. Both speeds I, I'm down with, right? Totally down with. I think that's going to be more than enough. So the other thing that I want to test, remember we're getting, let's say we'll, we'll ballpark it seven, 757 and seven, we'll, we'll say 760 and 790, 760, 790. And then what we'll do just because we can, uh, is we'll go into disk utility, because I'm curious if we take this, right, and we uh, take it and put it into, this is gonna make me do a OS journal. Okay, sure, let's try that. Just so that it's Windows friendly, sorry, Mac friendly, operation successful. Okay, can we, can we change that to anything else now that it's here? Nope. That's our option, okie dokie. Uh, and then we'll do the same thing, right, Black Magic. Uh, target should be, should it be the same? Is that extend, yeah, and start. Yeah, no, we're getting, we're getting a, a teeny, like it's, no, it's a maybe a little tiny, it's a couple, a tiny bit faster, right? About, about 10 megs on both sides. Not even 10, four on the one maybe, and eight on the other. Faster? Sure. Significantly faster? No. If you want to be able to swap it between machines, keep it next fat. It's not going to make that much of a difference. Um, but you know what? They make a good drive. Uh, I actually like the size of these ones just for the fact that, and it's metal, just for the fact that it does have that extra bit of like cooling, which is good because I do find that, you know, the really small external drives, uh, they do heat up, right? And I like the benefit of having a small drive. 
But if you are someone like me that is, you know, maybe running off it for an hour or two, they do get they do get warm. So a lot of times I have a fan or something that I use to blow blow on this. On the Mac Studio upstairs, I actually have a laptop like cooling tray that you'd use a laptop for. And half of my Mac Studio sits on the cooling tray, and the other half, which is another fan, is where I actually have my solid state drive sitting on it. So there's a little bit of airflow just to help keep them cool a little bit. Anyways, I, I like their drives. My hope is Natak, Natak, like however you say it. Um, I think they're going to be sending me one of their NVMe drives so we can test it inside our PS5 because I'd love to try upgrading with one of their drives to see how it works. All right, guys, uh, I'm a fan of their drives. They work really good. I used all of them and they've been pretty much flawless for me. So yeah, try them out. I'll leave links to Amazon store down below. And uh, that's it. Like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see you fine folks tomorrow. Later, guys. Uh, for those of you that stuck around to the end of the video, awesome. Thank you so much for sticking around. But I wanted to do... Uh, camera's slipping around over there. I wanted to do a test, and I, and I did the test already, on a Windows computer. Still moving. What is going on there? Maybe better? Maybe, maybe not? somewhere in there there we go i wanted to do a test on uh, our windows computer uh so i was doing it on our huawei uh 14s i believe it is um and we were getting exactly actually faster than the uh speeds that they say they say we should get 1050 we actually hit 1070 during the read phase so uh, I don't know why on a Mac computer we can't get those speeds. We always get slower. I always get somewhere in that 800, 900-ish speed on externals. But as you can see here on the Windows computer, uh, we, we were getting exactly what it says we're supposed to be getting. So if you're on a Windows computer, I'd say this is going to be fantastic. Uh, if you're on a Mac computer, I'd say it's still going to be really good for those of us doing, you know, fairly basic uh, to intermediate 4k editing you should be you should be good to go with no issues all right guys uh thanks for sticking around to the end and i will see you guys tomorrow later